Go outside, dig a hole, plant a tree, because today is Earth Day, and it's also another episode of Lucky Time Explosion. Wow. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Earth Day. Earth Day? It's Earth, Earth Day again? It's Earth Day again. Why do I feel like it's Earth Day like every week? <laughs> it's Earth Day every day. Yeah, well, that's a big one. That Surely there's no other holidays. <laughs> Boy, are you wrong. Oh, no. Yep, it's another one of those listing off the holidays for the uh, day. Uh, I'm like, I sort of, I feel like I've been taken hostage by this segment. I'm starting to like it. I'm starting to get um, Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, yeah, that's you good. <laughs> I like that. It still makes me angry how many stupid holidays there are. Go ahead. Can Do I get, ask let's you a get stupid question? Yeah, of course. Why is it called Stockholm? Is that like the scientist who came up with it, or did the first event take place in Stockholm? Second one, B. Really? Yeah, it's a Shut specific. Up. It's a specific abduction event that happened in Stockholm, Sweden, where one of the uh, the hostages like began to identify with her captors. Right. And it was a really famous case, actually. It doesn't usually work with me, though. No. They can never <laughs> no, connect. you're stubborn. They you, run away. You They're just like, drive them crazy. You know, your, your captors like get sick of you and, and throw you out of the van. <laughs> Sucks. Damn I it. just want to be kidnapped correctly. It's also in God we trust day. Amen. It's seriously just the embracement of the term in God we trust. Just yeah, celebrating just that. Just not that even term. God or trust. No. No. Nope. Uh, let's see here. It's yeah. you sure stopped celebrating the day we took it off our money. Oh wait, no, we didn't. Still no. there. Okay, yeah. that's right. For all you uh, nerds, <laughs> it's National IT Service Provider Day. Woo! That might as well be um, National uh, Furry Day. That there's definitely there has to be. We just haven't hit it yet. <laughs> no, I mean It'll like that's uh, that's my joke being that like most IT professionals are furries. Oh, I didn't there's know there's actually a, a large. Connection. Oh yeah. I, I like to joke that if um furries were banned, like the internet would go down. Wow. We wouldn't have enough people manning the shit. I wonder if any of them like show up dressed up. Yeah, they do right? that. With a pocket protector like that fox <laughs> from the Pixar movie. <laughs> yeah, it was like the little tie or whatever. I mean, I would uh, that's in my world, that's what I would want. <laughs> I would um, require it. You got a dress code. I'm not a huge outside fan outside of your fursuit. Of jelly beans, but it is National Jelly Bean Day. I like uh, jelly beans. They're weird. They are weird. I like those. Remember those ones uh, from years ago, the Harry Potter jelly beans? I remember Jelly Belly, but I don't remember. Yeah, Jelly Belly made Harry Potter jelly beans that taste like grass or vomit. What the? F or dirt. Ew. Yeah, they were really gross. The vomit one really tasted like vomit. It was <sighs> disgusting. I remember when they used to put a bunch of jelly beans in a jar in class and they're like, yeah, so many jelly beans. And I'd be like 500 off like every yeah. time. They're well, like, how are you wrong? supposed to guess how many jelly beans are in a jar? That's too much math. It's tough. Too much counting. I have ADHD. If your name is Terry, guess what? It's your day. That's right. It's National Terry Day, Terry. <laughs> All right, Terry's. There's not too many Terry's. Do you the, know a Terry? The only Terry I can think of is the uh, character on Reno 911. With the skates, you know who I'm talking about, Terry. I forget. Yeah, oh, come on! It's such a good show. You know, I know Terry. it's sad because I used Swordsman, to love the show. Nick, Nick Swordsman or whatever. Oh, it was Nick. It. I love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was on Reno playing a character named Terry. Look it up. Vintage comedy. Funny. Yeah, movie. no, I love. I'm a big. Anything fan. else? Anything? Any art days? It, it's Oklahoma Day. If you're down with that. I guess, yeah, sure. Oklahoma, and, it's, woo. and it's Passover, which is a beautiful yes. thing. Yay! That's a real. I mean, you're Jewish. You didn't get. You didn't go there first. Shh. <laughs> Jesus! Wait, Christ. we got um, we have some other Jewish news. I go news. to church, man. No, you go to church. Like, I go to Catholic church to maintain cover. Yeah, no, got uh, a big poster of Jesus looking down on me. He's like, "What's up, brother?" I'm like, "Yeah, right. I know." <laughs> Look what you've done. To me. <laughs> hey, no, I blame the Romans. But yeah. uh, another news I did read today in Internet News: uh, Larry David. Is hitting the pavement out here in New York. He's going around the galleries. He's checking out artwork, and that's a news story. Apparently, they're like, what? "We saw Dave, Larry David." Did they mention where he went? Yeah, they did mention a couple of galleries. I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh man! But yeah, we gotta we gotta go gonna go corner him. No, I'm kidding. I feel like <laughs> me let and him, him let him shop in peace, please. We would look at each other like, and you know, they play that little song. Be like, "Do we know each other?" Yeah, like, you're my spirit animal. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I think he's a lot of people's spirit animals. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people with the uh, the Larry David tattoos. Yeah, he's Larry David tattoos. Yeah, I'm gonna get Larry David tattooed like uh, in the middle of my back where um, that dude got Nixon tattooed. You know what I'm talking about? 
oh he judged stone roger stone has a tattoo of nixon like oh on my his back. god you mean uh the penguin <laughs> he dresses yeah, like he, the penguin. He does work like the nuts. penguin. He kind of looks like the penguin. Could we show a Roger yeah. Stone picture? Roger Stone. If I you mean, haven't seen on. the documentary on Netflix, it's actually amazing. It's called Get Me Roger Stone. And it's all about his uh, history, like with, you know, the Nixon campaign, with politics, introducing lobbying. Uh, so basically, it's Roger Stone's fault that we have lobbering, lobbying, lobbering, uh, lobbering, lobbering, and, cl and clobbering and slobbering, and lobbying for <laughs> slobbering, which is huge. They're actually that's a huge thing right now. They they're lobbying for slobby. <laughs> There's no slobby lobby. <laughs> There's no slobby There's lobby. No sl Son of a bitch! We're here from the sloppy toppy lobby. I'm gonna tell my dad, like, dude, you are so wrong. <laughs> You're so wrong. And talking about shows, I uh, we were talking about earlier, um, yeah. the new hot show is Baby Reindeer, and I, I right. binged through it, and I, I really liked it. It was pretty disturbing. Mm. Uh, it's based on a true story, okay. and it's a pretty heavy tale about a comedian who uh, obtained a a stalker but there's a lot that's it's that's not the only it looks story. like misery you remember the, the movie misery of course stephen king kathy bates classic. she's beautiful in that movie yeah if i was captured i'd be like i'm staying here <laughs> no. i think kathy that's bates hot. is pretty actually well in that movie, she gets a lot of she gets a lot of uh, a lot of guff oh she's well yeah but she's a great actress she uh, cobbled him right? yeah she hobbled him. Hobbled. Yeah, the hobbling post. Right. That that yeah. was a rough scene. If it, for that's those his, who remember, which is could we see another? Could we see her face? There's Kathy Bates for y'all. She's like, yeah. That's what we do to artists who don't um, who don't meet the deadline for pickup. We that's hobble right. them, take the hobbling post out, and whack their knees. No, I don't do that too much. Not anymore. And never forget. So that I like that show, and I also wa I burned through Fallout. I've never played the video game. I can't believe you never played Fallout. I know. Now Wait a I minute. Have I ever played? You know what's ironic is I think that I have, uh, like seen the majority of the Fallout series through Let's Plays on YouTube. I don't think I've actually ever played the game, but I've watched so much content of Let's Plays that I feel like I know the game inside right. and out. Have you ever seen a walkthrough of a game that you've never played before? Yeah, Fallout. So <laughs> you, you've watched the whole. You, I've watched. Wow. Like, I've watched probably like fifty hours or more of Fallout Holy content and never shnikes. actually played it. You know, because I don't have a gaming PC actually. Right, you need a pretty serious PC these days, like Alienware or something yeah, Alienware. like Alienware. Alienware, like when you first turn it on, it's like Alienware. Remember, Aliens. Uh, uh, Winamp. Of course, I remember Winamp. Winamp. That was a great. Really um, whips a llama's ass. The llama's ass. The llama's ass. Whatever the llama is. The Winamp right. was a great mode of expression. There were a lot of really cool, like uh, skins for it. I was a huge skin collector. You ever huge. make any? No, but that uh, looking back, I wish I had. But you know, there were some. I had so many different ones that turned it into like an old vintage, you know, mass media setup or a boombox. Right. They had the, the, uh, the green head guy. You know, classic, oh yeah, with know. the brain. I always use like the little mini players, little tiny right. players. Like, just minimize, I make feel it like as small as possible. Whenever they show like a picture of like old Winamp, what's usually playing is either No Doubt or like Collective Soul. Yeah, <laughs> you know, That's true. What was the earliest like um, art app you ever use? You remember the, some old art apps? Like, I'm thinking about like <sighs> Corel Painter. Is that still around? I think. Uh, I had a ColecoVision, and I think there was actually a game to make a face. Mm. Either that or it was in television, but I feel like going way, <clears throat> way, way, way back. I mean, I even messed around a lot with like MS Paint. Oh, yeah. I know we, we spoke about the uh, popular, well known MS Paint artist Ringo Starr <laughs> yes. of the Beatles. Again, here's mostly Ringo's known, art. Here's mostly another known picture. for his MS Paint work and then i'm just you know and to be honest with you i'm just <laughs> guessing that ringo star is using ms paint it looks like ms paint to me but it could be something different it could be ringo star paint and he like hired somebody <laughs> to make his own paint clone or something but it definitely looks like ms paint ringo star paint i like that yeah he just buys ms paint it's like his art is so bad it's good again you know it's like so weird looking and so ugly that i feel so awkward cartoony. i feel like someone did something to me that i didn't like after looking at it but in a good way <laughs> that's like know, the worst weird. review you can hear <laughs> i'll tell ringo yeah where is he 
Yeah, is we he coming have on next on. week? I sure hope Get so. Get Ringo Starr on here next week. I don't think too many people usually have him on specifically about his art. He might be tantalized. That's true. That's true. Like, Who are you, we, do you have any other oh, favorite the Beatles? celebrity I artists? Because I did that one video a while back on my TikTok that was like all about the worst celebrity artists. Do you have any ones that you think are good? Um, uh, I kind of think Sylvester Stallone does some fun stuff. Yeah, I think I mentioned <laughs> him in my bad artist video. <laughs> he does do some interesting stuff. I think mine's Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. Yeah, Miley Cyrus. She, right. what she, she like again? glues a bunch of shit to other shit. Oh yeah, she talked about she like, that. Yeah, she like hot glues like raver toys to giant six foot bongs and stuff. Have you seen these? Have you yeah, seen they're cool. I don't you know, like they're cool them? looking. They're like, they look like a bunch of weird plastic crap. Um, together brad i pitt. like it brad pitt actually does some pretty interesting stuff i've seen he's been more uh popping up in art world big stuff. pieces been like, seeing him around large difficult to make like casts like really i don't even know like sculpture work but hangable sculpture work yeah do you ever do really sculpture things stuff? you ever try your hand at some sculpture um when i was a wee lad i actually had an art psychologist and i would go what? and yeah i had Ooh. art therapy and um didn't work obviously not <laughs> no like we would do clay one time and we would do a different medium the next i yeah. remember uh i did a paper mache of the blue elephant in um star wars oh yeah that guy he's <laughs> and, not an elephant he's like um he's an alien he's fan. Like, oh we walk he's like the one in the cantina right yeah 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 he's well chilling. he's the one that plays the keys yeah yeah, and then I, like I did like a bust of um, in clay of uh, Batman. Oh, and that was cool. I should have thrown bust. it out. I throw it out. Oh, uh, my bust. Uh, I use like um, bronze. Oh, did, like a lost wax <laughs> process, and then my bust got stolen out of the back of my girlfriend's car in Oakland. What was it of? The devil. Oh, that's awesome. It was like made of straps and like weird straps. I come up with this technique that I thought was pretty innovative and pretty cool. But I think I was the only one who liked it because my dad, who's always been very supportive and very open about, you know, my art, I'd come home and I'd be like, what do you think of this? And I made three busts, like in a, a preacher, a devil and like some other face, human looking face. And my dad was like, yeah, you should uh, melt those down. They're terrible. And I was like, what? <laughs> but I was like, I like them even more now. But it was in the back of my girlfriend's car. Some crackhead stole it. And I was like, well, at least they like my art. And then I realized we're three blocks away from a metal recycling facility. And I was like, oh, they, they melted that shit. That down. may be the case. Or he took it home and started praying to it. Maybe. Most likely. Another funny clay story is uh, my dad's old boss, uh, who I will not name, who is currently in jail. Uh, he, uh, when he was younger, him and his friend were so much trouble that they, instead of like putting them in remedial classes, they just, they took the two of them and they put them like in the janitor's closet. And they were like, here's some clay. And they were like, that's the entire time they're at school for all four years, basically. They were just like in the janitor's closet playing with clay because they were too much trouble. And then they ended up being, you know, multimillionaires, successful. There you go. I, <laughs> I'm blown the fuck away. I wish I'd, if I had known that I just needed to cause enough trouble in class to be like given clay to play with all day long, then that's I would have done that. So awesome. I love that story for so many reasons. <laughs> yeah, it, it, high school is full of, of strange things people teaching that should not be teaching i had a teacher i won't say his name i loved him so much he would throw me up before i would even say anything soon by the end of the class about 90 percent of the class would be sitting outside and just just because he had the power to do so, <laughs> so it was the weirdest happy. thing he just i i <clears throat> i come in i'd be like hey mr blah 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 and he'd be like out i'm like i didn't do anything <laughs> he's like you will and oh my god then, <laughs> he sounds like he knows you, know, you one by one though You'd see one person get kicked out. You'd see another one. And next thing you know, most of the class is outside. And this, I, I got like a B plus in that class. <laughs> and actually, I would be rewarded for saying the most ridiculous of things. I remember like, I felt really bad. There was like, selling something about the Amazon or something. And there was this girl, won't name her name. She had, and now I kind of think it's attractive. She had hairy arms. And then they showed this picture of a monkey. And then I said, oh look, it's Lauren. And oh, so cruel. The teacher, lo uh, he, he loved it. He was so happy. He, <laughs> he was so happy, I think he kicked her out. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he probably fucking would. But 90% of the class, that's too much. You got a problem then. It's not the kids, it's you. And then I'd see him, I'd see him like, on the weekends, like rolling out of OTB. 
OTB. <laughs> yeah, oh, off track betting. Yeah, yeah, yeah off track betting. Oh, man. He was one of my favorite teachers. That's funny. Do you, have any, do you have any memories from school about like that, about doing art or like, did you get any encouragement in class or you, were you having to like doodle in the lines? Between? I am. Um, I was more of a doodler. Yeah. Uh, and I avoided art class. It was weird. It didn't make any sense. Any sense whatsoever. You love doodling, hated art class. Yeah. I remember I did this thing that really, I think her name was Mrs. Hyman. I swear. But anyways, no, I'm serious. This is not for the sake of the story. <laughs> okay. I used to take <laughs> like rubber glue and just paint my hand mm. with the rubber glue and then just mushed, let it dry like the fake skin yeah. and then just like. Rub it till it all rub it off and off? sniff it and it sniff it and fucking rub it off my hand <laughs> and sniff out. it and she she threw me You're out and she's like can you stop gluing your hands yeah <laughs> she get out of the class I'm like oh come on can I take the glue with me leave the glue here <laughs> you're like my precious sniff 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 oh sniff. yeah well I think I did the classic <laughs> one where you cover it with Elmer's and then you like peel it off in one piece oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. like I'm sorry I used to do that and, like I'm a zombie you, like uh, paint my face with Elmer's glue and then right. walk into my parents room like uh, yeah. I don't think there's enough creative things going on in school because my big memory about doing art in school was none of the art classes, which there were some, and there were some art projects in like main class, like build a diorama, build a a mission out of sugar cubes. You know, I think everybody, yeah, has, every kid in California had to do that one. Build a, a just a, remember a to give us mission. all the sugar cubes after no, so you drop put, acid glue on them. them and recirculate them. And you'd glue them so they wouldn't even be usable anymore. But uh, there was that, and then my biggest memory was during spelling bees. I would intentionally answer wrong so I could sit down and like just draw for 40 minutes. I didn't even bother putting myself into a spelling bee. Because no, you I, didn't have a choice. Oh, this was, my, the whole class I, yeah. stood up and you had to do it. There was no way I was yeah, doing that. So I that. answered I answered wrong immediately. I'd start breakdancing on stage. Like, spell cat. I'm like, Z. Thank you. I'm <laughs> sitting down now. Uh, Can you please put that in a sentence? <laughs> yeah. But I do think. Definition you know, of cat, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was lucky that later on in school, I got to go to community college at a place called College of Marin in Kentfield, California. Mm. That is the only place in the entire <clears throat> California community college system to have a bronze foundry. And they not only have a bronze foundry, but they have like a good music department and like rehearsal rooms and like a huge So when you say hall. bronze foundry, like like to sculpt bronze? Yeah, to do lost wax process for that bronze. That is very cool. And the teacher was really, really cool. I remember him. I wish I'd remember his name. I feel like it was Mr. Rick or Mr. Rickman or something. But he would, he would always come in and be like, because, you know, Northern California, Marin County, all the kids are either like perfect Yale grads or drug addict burnouts. And this is the community college, so it's probably the latter. And he would always be like, if you come to class and you're stoned, uh, just let me know, man. I'll give you some clay. And you can just play with the clay. I don't want you welding what? So or making where did your hot dad grow metal. Up? Where did your dad grow up? My dad. This is not my dad. This I know. Is, yeah. Oh, where? my father grew up in like Virginia and North Carolina. But like, what? what's with this clay situation? The hippie clay? But first... He gets sent to the. No, that's my dad's old I boss. Know. I know. Not him. But that's still crazy. What's what's with the clay? Clay's pretty common, man. I mean, there's a lot of stuff made it's out of like, clay. It's like if all else fails, just like people have, like, you know what? If we, if me and you are gonna have a divorce, <laughs> you gotta find I yourself got this on big the clay chunk wheel. Chunk of clay with uh, Patrick Stewart, Patrick Swayze behind you. I wish Ghost. Patrick Stewart was behind Patrick Swayze in that in that scene. That would be something. a never-ending massage a, chain on the on the. I'm gonna pottery have wheel. to do that. It, definitely Photoshop that at some point. No, I feel I like pottery. It's, it's just because pottery wheels are like you know relatively. It's not. I'm not gonna say easy. I know there's a lot of potters out there with incredible skill. But I think clay is just, you know, it's one of those basic things. It's like, here you well, go. I it's feel clean. Like it's, it's a easy hippie to use. thing because it's like movement, man. Yeah. The, the wheel. Yeah. And you're grabbing and you're touching and you're putting your It's also your earth. Fingers. You're, you're, you're literally dirt. molding earth. So I can see how it's big with the hippies for that reason. Yeah. The makeup pot for Earth Day. <laughs> earth Day pot. Have you ever done any kind of pottery? It's kind of fun. Um, Long time ago, the only thing... Nah, I never you used about the, the wheel. raku firing process. No, but it sounds a lot of awesome. fire. It's cool. It's like fire and hair. Fire like, and hair. Yeah, like you can what when you're burning when you're like finishing a pot, you can use different things to give it different textures. So you can use like 
a bunch of um, newspaper or you can literally get like long horse hairs and then you burn uh, it on top of it and it gives it like pull little, it out and it, the, bur- the hair burning makes little like line cracked line patterns on it like, oh. like sticks to it and like burns away and then like leaves like a weird Bernie line thing. It's pretty cool. I recommend taking a pottery class. Yeah. I should, we should have someone live just sitting right in front, just just completely not paying attention, just like doing their thing, but in the corner somewhere. Just as making we, things. It's completely, yeah. I would oh, like that. That was, oh, <laughs> that also reminds me of one of my favorite apps ever. Let's make pottery too. To the second one because that's like more stuff so this is an app or this is virtual it's an app on your phone right and there is actually a virtual reality version which ironically sucks you, you would, would think, think it would be better because yeah. you're like but they didn't do what you would think they would do on the phone you use your finger and you kind of like push it in and pull Ooh. it out and it's really nice uh but in vr rather than like making full hand tracking or like doing some other interface it's just basically like the same thing like one dot there's really no point of it being in VR, which is unfortunate, but let's create pottery too. And I was watching a documentary about Cyrax, who's a YouTube character, you know, like lol cows. He's kind of like a lol cow, which is like. Explain that really, again. Lol cow is like a really fucked up thing on the internet where basically someone like Chris Chan or Cyrax or these people who generally have some sort of mental health struggles. Uh, but can't stop going online and getting and attention. And they're not cyborgs? No, they're just like, they're people who are not quite understanding that like their audiences are there making fun of them. Oh, like they think I they see. might have like real followers and, you know, friends online. Maybe they do. I'm sure they do. But most, for the most part, people are just there to ridicule them. And usually they have some sort of disability, which makes it kind of fucked up. There's like a huge industry around it. But I, I, I'm bringing it up because the other day I was watching this thing about Cyrax and they were like talking about his art. And his art was all this let's make pottery apps and stuff, this output. And I was like, oh, shit, that's me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's exactly the shit I love doing. You're a lol cow. I'm a lol cow now. Oh. I guess so. I never made it that But far. I recommend it. It's really cool. It's a fun app, and it's been around forever. And you used to be able to just order your design, and they would 3D print it. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Like colors and all. And you could get like a little wow. tiny one or like a sort of big one. And what really happened? Cute. I don't know, their partnership with Shapeways, like, it just never worked for me. I know somebody probably got one. Oh, so it still exists? The app does. Got it. But I've never been able to use the order your design feature. Mm. It's always, like, aired out or not connected, so I don't think that works anymore. But there's a surprisingly active community of pot makers, too. So, like, I'll, I'll upload a pot, and I'll, like, in a few minutes, I'll get, like, a bunch of likes and comments on it being like, this is beautiful. Yeah, that's yeah. It. It's very encouraging. Yeah, it's like a, a newer version of like the old uh, Tupperware groups. I remember my mom <laughs> would have like ladies over and the they Tupperware would talk parties. about their Tupperware and how it compacts all the air in there. And <laughs> Unfortunately, the Tupperware group's probably more practical because right. I mean, they're selling each other food storage containers. I don't think they're around anymore. I think that's it. Tupperware <clears throat> parties? Well, there's got to be a Tupperware. Ended. I'm sure somebody, you mean the company Tupperware? Yeah. That's a good question. Are they bought by Rubbermaid? Probably. I see Rubbermaid I have to do a stuff bit everywhere. Research. I wonder if there are Tupperware parties still, just for like the sake of nostalgia. Plastic is is bad news these days. Apparently. Yeah, it's just, we're all like, got the microplastics in our brain. I love my. I like that meme of uh, McCormick spice. That's just microplastics. Yes. And you shake it off in your food, and you eat those yummy plastics. It might as well be. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Your your body starts to learn how to deal with the plastics. You become plastic. You're just getting closer to becoming a robot, and then it'll all fuse together. I mean, doesn't matter. We're all heading the same direction. That'd be cool if um, mankind turned into one giant Akira monster of like plastic pieces that just oh, be rolls over the whole planet. Like, I hope Whoa! they really do. I know. We- I don't a know head if you or a hand it, coming out. I saw that they were going to do a live action, but you know, it's, live action it's what? Live action Akira. Oh, but it's you know that's a really tough movie to do, and like if you do it wrong, you know those people will be hated forever. Yeah, it's that's really, a really yeah that's a fragile tough thing movie. about adaption. Any kind of anime adaption too is going to be extra criticized. But I can imagine that the Broadway play of Akira is just two actors screaming for. You know, Kaneda! 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 I always like the part where like he's getting all sick or something towards the beginning, and then his guts fall out of his body and through the floor. Oh yeah, Ooh. I feel like that every morning. 
I think of that at Curacine, my guts that's just what, like that's barf. what your bathroom looks like. I, I I'm very clean, so if it, it may look like that for a moment, but believe me, you, <laughs> I clean. I'm very very sterile. Oh. I get on my hands and knees. I'm like a Cinderella, Morganella. My God, scrubbing and scrubbing. It's it's therapeutic. I like it. Ew. Do you have anything to plug before we go today? What's going on? Is oh it World God. Collage Day is still coming yes. up? Yes. World you got Collage some exciting Day artists? is the 11th. I got a lot of exciting artists. Who's, who's I got James Gallagher. I got oh. Adrian Malman. I got this weird dude named Morgan Jesse Lappin. I got Connor Redden. I got, Connor. I love Connor Redden. Um, yeah. A lot more. <laughs> I have to go through the paperwork. Yeah, I gotta dig your paperwork. But believe out. me, I when's will that happening again? Give more updates. That is the opening is May first. Is that actually World Collage? No, it's it. It is closing not. is World Collage Day, right? It is nice. Due to um, that's the eleventh calendar situations. That is the eleventh. That is a Saturday. Finally, a day we care about. Saturday. World Collage Saturday, Day. Saturday. 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 Who does that song? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're. I don't know. They're yeah. called the Weekenders. No, I have no idea who does that song. Yeah, no, I don't remember. It's not the outside. I just know Friday. It's not Super Tramp. It's not Jackie Chan and the Five Frogs. <laughs> Can we just close the the show out with like two minutes of you scratching your forehead? Yeah, sometimes life it hurts so years. much. It's just like you like you, you want to get through the skin, the bone. You just want to tickle your own brain, and then you realize. What is that called again? The people that drill the holes in their heads? Oh. To get um, closer to God? Oh, my God. It's on the tip of my tongue. We were talking about it recently. Yeah. yeah. They started in the 60s, this whole crazy-ass cult, and, like, these people would... They yeah, punch holes in your head. In their own, they do it to themselves. Why there, would you do that? It has that? a very particular word. Yeah, and then they remember. have a hole in the head. Transiting or something like that. Transmitting your brain meat <laughs> to someone's eyeballs. Yeah, that shit's nuts. How do you not die? That's a good question. Don't you get like a bacterial infection and then you fucking you your think, brain's exposed? You would think so. Back. Oh man, that's a gnarly, <sighs> that's a gnarly one. Well, I'm excited for World Collage Day event. Yeah, and, and I'll try not to drill any holes into my head. Don't do that. Yeah, I'll I've been, try is the word. That you know that um that dice prison I've been working on forever oh, yeah. in 3D. It's finally come together. I'm making Boom. some of the last adjustments on it. And one thing that's cool about doing that project was that I've kind of gotten more. Uh, confident in my VR 3D designing skills. Well, you set the bar high for yourself. Yeah, like with a lot of stuff. Detail. Yesterday, I wanted to put a boat in. Oh, and I was wow. Like, you just keep on going and going. Yeah, I put you? a little rowboat in there to try and take up some of the empty room. And I was like, how do I make wood grain texture on a boat? Uh, and I found a little kind of a cool little hack. So this is for all you newbie 3D people. I like took the surface and I just splintered it a whole bunch. So there's a bunch of lines going through it. And then I like I pressed a couple and pulled a couple out and it created this like strident kind of wood pattern. It's not perfect, but it looks sort of okay. That's cool. Yeah. I'm excited to see it. I've been hearing about it for three years. I know. <laughs> no. It does feel like three years. That it does feel like three years. It's a project that I took Some on. Some zombie hands coming out of the walls. Yeah. 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 But we'll you know, I got, I got word back. You know, I've been trying to design it for 3D printing from the ground up. Right. And I've done a lot of 3D printing and modeling. So I should know what a 3D printer can do. But I got word back today that Flare Printer is basically saying it's not optimized well and it's going to take a ton of support. So now I got to go back and figure out what I'm doing wrong and get back on that grind. It's a learning process. It is a learning process, but I'm having fun. So I'm still learning how to eat food. You might see some more read. VR stuff coming from you, some more 3D things in the future. So I'm excited about that. Me too. Who's our, do we have any cool guests this week? They're all secret. Oh, okay. we have John DeLeo at the end of the week. De La O. De La o. Yeah. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> it's a, he's got a really interesting name, John. He's an incredible painter and collage artist, too. Yes, he is. It's John De La O. He's got like four names. And he's going to be playing the music and talking about the collage. And the last name is just like the letter O, which is really cool. Yeah, that's wild. I o. like that. All right. Well, anyway, we'll see John later this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know if you've got any cool art shows coming up you want us to shout out, let us know. If you want to come on yourself, also let us know. We'll be here. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Stay tuned. <laughs>